my god guys did you not feel chills from that what's up guys in this icy video we're gonna be talking about pokemon unite don't know what pokemon unite is it's an also game it's a moba so it's pretty much on switch it's been on switch for a while i'm not sure how long per se but i know that mobile just dropped a few days ago maybe a week ago now and i have to say i'm very impressed this is this is what i want my mobile games to be like i want it to be very well thought and well engineered games and not these ad games where they kind of just lie to you in the ads come on now but pokemon unite is a really fun game and i enjoy it a lot I enjoy playing this every day a lot and it's just wonderful a lot but that being said why is it such a good game first of all it's about Pokemon I'm, I'm in love with Pokemon I don't know if you guys know this but I do enjoy me some Pokemon so being a mobile um, Pokemon game and then being a very good a very good mobile game I'm very impressed, but why? Well, I get to play my favorite Pokemon, which is Rune Ninja, but he's kind of difficult. He's very difficult. I actually have not played him yet, but I know he is an expert level. I have seen videos about him being played and he is, just from looking at him, you can tell that he's very difficult to play. I pretty much been playing Cinderace. Cinderace. You don't know who Cinderace is. He's kind of uh, he's a newer Pokemon, newer starter. Yeah, he's really cool. He's pretty much a fire bunny whose evolution kind of ends up, you know, more humanoid than bunny. But I enjoy him a lot. And sadly, I don't have his gameplay recorded because. Um, for some reason when I would screen record with my phone it pretty much makes the game lag and the game would start becoming like a little unresponsive to movement attacks and all that pretty much anything that touches the screen it becomes a little unresponsive so I have to take it with a grain of salt Pretty much, I wouldn't play ranked recording it because it would just make me lag in rank, and I don't need to be lagging in rank when I play somebody who can really turn the battle of a game. There has been so many games so far where my team will be losing early. I become my final evolution, and I turn the tur I turn the tide of the battle. And I love playing people. I love people. I love playing people who I have a massive impact with. Like I can turn the tide of the battle, and I can say I did that. When I get the MVP player badge, I feel like I did that. And that's pretty much how I feel every time I play Cinderace. So, what else is good about the game? There's not anything else. Pretty much everything is good. Cosmetics, it doesn't shove it down your throat. Paying for paying for cosmetics, they don't shove it. Of course, because they're Pokemon, they don't need your money. It's but it's there. The cosmetics is just there. And I enjoy that. There's no ads, of course. Let's see. It's pretty much the ideal mobile game. Everybody from the golden era of you know Clash of Clans, uh, Jetpack Joyride, I think it was called Temple Run, the golden age where most mobile games didn't need you to pay to move ads or they had ads pretty much non stop. All right, and I am glad that there are still games. And companies who 
don't need to resort to those kind of tactics. And I'm, I'm happy for that. Two, the game is just good. I don't know what else to say about it. The only things I don't per se like, I don't understand why we don't, why we have speedsters. If you don't know what a speedster on this game is, a type of Pokemon who is pretty much an assassin. All right, we have attackers, we have defenders, we have all arounders, speedsters, and supporters. Attackers is obviously attackers. Depending if you melee or range, you pretty much you carry the most damage. Being a defender, you're more tankier, bigger health bar, and you supposed to be taking all the hit the hits pretty much. Being an all arounder pretty much means you're in between. You have good damage, but you also have good health, and you can actually hold yourself within a fight. Supporters are pretty much healers, block, um, blockers. I know for a fact Mr. Mime is a really good blocker. He pulls up an entire wall and it will do, it does a lot of stuff. To you, okay? Then you have speedsters as the last thing and they are pretty much the assassins of the game. They do really like they do a large amount of damage faster than range attackers or faster than any attacker really they all about speed they're speedsters so obviously me playing uh, a type of pokemon who who doesn't have that much uh, endurance or health bar i pretty much get melted quite quickly by speedsters i pretty much have to be already fed to the point where I can actually deal with them that has happened in multiple games with Cinder Ace I pretty much got so fed early game to the point where literally nobody could touch me I won be forward once and I wish I would have recorded it but I was playing with Tal and he can back me up on this 1v4, I turned the, tur the tide of the battle. Loved it. That's the one thing I love about this game. Um, I don't really have any other downsides to this game other than just the player, player base itself. You know, like all MOBAs, player base can kind of be full of themselves. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, I know early game, People don't really understand, at least mobile people, don't really understand the role system or like where to go to or like not hogging all the wild Pokemon. All right, stuff like that. That kind of pees me off, but that's more of a personal matter. But with that being said, for this app, I say, it's a 10 out of 10. It is a must have app. If you like Pokemon or you like mobiles, I suggest buying. Not, not buying. This game is free. I suggest you buy. There you go again. I suggest you get this app for free because I don't see the harm in having it. Get better with it. It's such a fun game. It's really a fun game. You get to play as your favorite Pokemon. Right now, their the selection is not a lot, but they are coming out with more Pokemon soon to, uh, soon to come. But with that being said, guys, I hope you have I hope you guys have a wonderful day. With that being said, remember to stay icy and always improve with what you do, and make sure you put passion into it. That being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video, which will be Thursday. And I will see you guys there.